Oh, hey folks, it's James here uh, from the Movie Bad channel. I'm uh, going to make a video on the Blu-rays I picked up over the last, I think it's about 10 days or so. And I'll show you what ones I've got. First of all though, oh, breaking the camera. Oh, First of all though, I would like to discuss why I make these movies. Uh, not these movies, <laughs> these videos. Uh, to be honest with you, sometimes life is, life is stressful. Sometimes life gets you down, sometimes life throws a curveball at you. And I'll be honest with you, this talking about movies is my way to relax. I know that people make these videos and I was wondering if you guys thought that that was your... Well, that's why you do it. Or if you do make a YouTube videos, why do you do it? Is, that, is it for that reason? So, I first wanted to talk to you about today's date and that's the 20th of November. And that's significant to me for a particular reason. And uh, I will uh, not go into the details, but of one passed away on this date uh, a good few years ago now. And that loved one always liked the Harry Potter movies. And actually went to see them with the, the person. In fact, I'll just tell you, it was mum. So she liked to watch the Harry Potter movies and the... Uh, so we, I think I went to the cinema to, with, with her to see most of them, and uh, but unfortunately she died before the the franchise came to an end. Also, uh, so th uh, that uh, that was the thing. So she actually died when Order of the Phoenix was coming out, and it actually hadn't came out yet. And she was really really interested in seeing that movie. So we actually got her a movie in the hospital, the Order of the Phoenix, and uh, it was a bootleg one because it hadn't came out in the cinema yet. And we, and we watched that together, so that was the last, uh, shall we say, one that we watched together. So after that, my sisters and I, I think, well, I'm not sure if all of us went, but we all went to see the cinema to see the conclusion of the franchise together. So every November 20th, I watch that from start to finish on there. So that's that's what I, that's what I do. E, um, so... I'll show you the pickups I got over the over the last week or so. These are the Blu-ray ones because I showed you the DVD ones the other day. So I'll start with the Pacific, and I actually paid money for this one, and I paid six pounds. I was looking at it in the charity shop and thought, Pacific, I've got that tin, that's all right. I think, and I was like, oh, all right, okay, but uh, I didn't realise it was the Blu-ray one. I don't have the Blu-ray one, so I picked that one up for five ninety nine. So I can take the label off of that, can't I? I suppose. There we go, and uh, I see it's got a nice tin. I thought, oh, five ninety nine. That's probably worth the upgrade. So I checked all the discs. All of them are in perfect condition, and I say so. I look forward to watching that Blu-ray. I really do want to get Bandy Blood at Father's on Blu-ray, but I haven't spotted that anyway yet. I've got a DVD, but I don't have the Blu-ray for it. I've got that one. I also picked up quite a few bits in CX with my store credits. Uh, and uh, to be honest with you, I'm I'm down to quite a a small amount for well for me and in, in the moment. So I'll show you what I picked up. I picked up first of all, Charlton Heston and the Omega Man. I've got this on DVD and I bought it brand new. One of the very few uh, DVDs I bought brand new because I think this is a really really good zombie movie. And it's so 70s, it's unbelievable. The special effects in that now, you know, when there's blood in that, you can see they look like tomato sauce on the DVD. So I'm, I'm quite interested to see how they'll look on the, on the, the Blu-ray. Blu I'm a Charlton Heston fan. I say I think this is a good movie. And is this the only movie the zombie's talking? Can you name another movie that zombie's talking? Or, that's what they are. They're supposed to be zombies, aren't they? And, and they are so... I really enjoyed that, I really enjoyed that movie. I believe I Am Legend is the remake of this. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I really like that one. Also, I was in the charity shop and for a pound I seen this. So I thought, why not? It says what DC Universe animated movie, original movie, Wonder Woman. And it does say this is recommended for mature audiences, so I'm pretty sure it's an adult cartoon rather than a kids one. There must be some, a, some kind of violence in it or something like that. No. I picked up as well Willow 
for six pounds. It was eight NCX, but they dropped it to six, and I thought I'll pick that up. I'll, I'll be honest with you, if I've seen this, I'm pretty sure I have seen it. I don't remember it, but it's a classic. So again, oh, Lucasfilms. It's done by the guy, uh, the Star Wars, George Lucas, isn't it? So there you go. So deleted scenes with Ron, so Ron Howard. So uh, is it Ron Howard that directed it? Must be. A film by Ron Howard, yep, there you go, it says on the front. So I got that one as well. I have never seen this, I just like the cover of it. It's a arrow release, I think. Is it? Arrow release? Yeah. Of City of the Living Dead, 30th anniversary of this year. With front and back artwork and also a nice little slipcase. It's also got a good, I checked this before I bought it in CX, it's also got a booklet and some art cards in it as you can see. And there, so yeah, some nice art. Oh, you can't see that, can you? Art cards. Put that back in. Oh, look, you can see. You can put it that way, or you can put it that way in the slip cover. Nice. I like that. So I didn't realise that before. I uh, also picked up some couple of Blu-rays in a 25p bin at the charity shop and that's why I only picked this one up. I probably wouldn't have picked this up otherwise. And it is uh, Plays Worldwide that says Tour of the Grand Canyon, Zion National Park and Bryce Canyon. Again for 25p, but why not? They also had in there the Inbetweeners movie and again for 25p Actually, I like the in between the series. The movie was it that it was all right. I suppose I just didn't think it was that great compared to the series. So check that as well. Uh, somebody was obviously a Charlton Heston fan when NCX, and they've traded in quite a bit of stuff. And I picked up Ben Hur's collector's edition. It says this one and two, the movie, nineteen fifty nine movie, this three documentary of Charlton and Heston and Ben Hur personal journey. And it says new feature length documentary, so that must be exclusive to the Blu-ray. If you've seen one of my very first videos, I picked up Ben Hart on DVD. So I'm actually delighted that I've picked that up on uh, Blu-ray. Because classic. And you know what? This is always on at Christmas. I don't think people consider this a Christmas movie, but it's always on at Christmas, isn't it? There you go. Ben Hart, Zulu. What other movies are on at Christmas every year? If you know the comments, if you know if you know any, I think any other ones that are always in the the uh, on the TV at Christmas every year, put something down below for me and let me know. I picked up Pacific Rim and I've already got it. I picked it up for fifty p. So there you go. Uh, you know, I say for fifty p. I thought, you know what? Maybe what I'll do is I say at the end of the month I'm going to do maybe a competition. So I'll probably give that one away as a competition prize. And I'll probably do another one. In fact, I will do that. I'll probably find another one and I'll do a competition prize at the end of the month. Uh, I also picked up a, The Curse of Chucky. I haven't seen a lot of the Chucky movies, but I've now got three or four of them. So I will watch them from the start. I'm presuming it's Child's Play 1, 2 and 3 that the first one see. I know, I think I know about movies and a lot of movies, but to be honest with you, there's so many out there. Nobody can know everything about them. Oh! That was handy. <laughs> oh, I, I forgot about that. Uh, see, so I traded that in, but I've got a, I've got a CEX voucher in there. That'll add to my pile. I must have forgot about that one. Oh, I need it back. Try to put it in my pocket. But, uh, yeah, I'll do that later. I also picked up Kingdom Heaven. Now, I bought this for my wife at Christmas a long time ago, and she really liked that movie. I actually think it's a decent movie as well. I think it's got... Some good scenes, some good battle scenes, and a good story to it. And for £2, that's well worth upgrading, so I bought that. Actually, when I bought Kingdom of Heaven, I bought it at Asda, and uh, I actually got it for my wife's Christmas, because she, she wanted it. So I wrapped it up, and then when she went to watch it, uh, we couldn't get the case open. And I had one of these security tags in the DVD, and the case I had to break it open and get, get it out. So I forgot to take it off. Oh, that was a story. So there you go. Uh, I also picked up this other Arrow release of Evil Ed, 
when his mind's blown anything goes it says and again I haven't seen this but £6 per hour, so I know you can get them in H and V for the the uh five for thirty, but uh the thing with that is I actually have to spend money and not my credit. So there we go. So I picked that one. It says this one and two Blu-ray DVD special edition uncut. There you go. And again a nice ad release. If anyone knows anything about that movie, let me know. I've not seen this one either. And that is Animal House with John Belushi. So I thought for four pound I'll pick that up. And I know I know people think that's a classic one. So I thought I'd take it and have a look. So it says one of the most popular comedies of all time, the film that made John Belushi a star. Hmm. I, I thought I like him in K9 to be honest with you. There you go. <laughs> so I decided that I was also going to start a Disney collection. And get the animated classics back in because I sold off all my DVD animated classics just because they were taking up too much space. And I always intended to upgrade them to Blu-ray, so I thought I'd make a start. And I paid eight pound for this one in credit, but it was the first one that I wanted to start with. Well, the well, first one in there that I, I wanted to get, and that's believe it or not, The Little Mermaid because I like the music in that. And the uh, there was a video on YouTube the other day of a woman getting the lady, she always looked conveniently on the back, to sing her wedding. I thought it was good and that reminded me about the movie and I thought I would like to watch that again at some point. I know it's a sort of girly movie, but my sisters used to watch this all the time over and over again on videotape. So I uh, thought may, if I'm going to start with one, I may as well start with that one. So I took that one. Uh, I also picked up a couple of 4Ks and I picked this one up, to be honest with you, Primarily because it was six pound for credit, and there and that is Sing. I haven't actually seen the movie. A lot of people say it's good in the 3D and everything like that's good in that. So, for six pound for a 4K, I thought that was well worth it. Uh, I do like to buy the 4Ks at CX as well, but I like to wait till the price drops down to a reasonable level. You've got to watch in the, watch with that because what happens is that the 4Ks in there, they'll Stay, they'll drop, they'll drop, they'll drop, and they'll drop to some to a price somebody's willing to pay for it. And if you then miss that, you have to go to the CX website and pay one pound fifty for postage to someone that's actually got it. So you could be doing yourself out a couple. Like I'm still waiting on Pacific, where I'm uprising on Blu-ray, dropping from eight to six, and I'm sure it will. And as soon as it drops to six, I can, I'm going to uh, jump on that one, uh, so to speak. So I also picked up a Wonder Woman. It was at 20, it dropped to 15, and then the other day it dropped to 12, so I picked up Wonder Woman on 4K. i be honest with you, out of the DC Universe, I haven't seen Justice League yet, but I think this is the best movie. Beats Batman vs Superman, hands down. I think it's a much better movie, and with Chris Pine in it, that's great. So I took that one, uh, so I'm ha pretty happy to have uh, that one there. Okay. So that was all my pickups over the last uh, 10 days or so. So I was happy to get those. If you have any thoughts on the movies or the channel, uh, let me know. Oh, and I say I will find another Blu-ray and I'll do a competition for the end of, Nove end of November and we'll put something together. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be picking up that much this week, uh, to be honest with you. Because CX is a bit dry at the moment. My charity shops are a bit you know, dry. I'm probably going to give them a few days break. Just to see if they replenish, and guaranteed when you do that, something will come in and you'll miss it. But you know what? I'm okay with that. I've got plenty of stuff to watch. Plus, the Black Friday is coming up, so I'm hoping there'll be a good selection of things on websites and things like that. So I've saved myself a little bit of money, not much, maybe 10 or 15 pounds, so I can maybe get a couple of select items on Black Friday. There, maybe even a bit more. It just depends on depends on if well, whether I think it's a good deal or not. But as I say, from the first of December, I'm starting my forty five pound budget. Now, I think that's actually quite high. That's ten pound, twelve pound a week. See, when you're going out every day and you can't, then you only spend five pound. It all makes up. So five, five, nine. That's really nine days of hunting for me, probably. Uh, on, on there, so I'm going to have to be really careful. Obviously, I've got my store credit that I can fall back on, but mainly I'm looking to find £45 worth of stuff to trade in, change that to maybe, I'm hoping to double that to 90 
and then use the ninety pound to buy credit. Uh, to buy not to buy credit, to buy Blu-rays and the and Blu-rays out of uh CX. I was actually in there today, they had three or four that I wanted and I just decided to put them back for now because you know there's you could hunt and let's see maybe this is like a sick this like cinema sickness says that I, when I go out and I like to purchase one and I don't find one Did I get upset about it? No but it's just that feeling of disappointment inside uh, Again like John Flixer says maybe I have to buy things to make myself feel good uh, to, uh, and I don't need them it's just to make myself feel better and uh, quite often it works so uh, but I need to strike a balance for that and obviously have enough money to live on so there you go uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this video if you've got any thoughts on it then please let me know I say I'm going to start my Harry Potter marathon right now or later on tonight I've got to actually go and find the Harry Potter uh, Blu-rays I've got I don't think I've actually got all of them on Blu-ray I think I'm missing one or two so I'm going to check to see which ones I'm missing before I start before I start that. Okay. I noticed that Harry Potter is never on things like Amazon or Netflix either, so I'm surprised at that. Maybe there's some kind of rights issue. But uh thanks for watching guys. If you've got any thoughts on anything down below, then please just let me know. Thank you guys, bye!